Welcome to XR Template Tutorial Lesson 128 for the XR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create link anchor text. And the reason that I'm making this video is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to do so. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up a blank new document in XR Web Designer. And once you do that, let's go ahead and move forward. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the text tool in our toolbar. And then I'm going to go ahead and create some text in our workspace. In this case, I'm going to write article A. And I'm actually going to select this text and change it to bold. And I'm also going to resize it so that it's bigger. So once you have a title in your document, the next thing that we want to do is create some more text or a paragraph beneath the title, Article A. So select your text tool and go ahead and create a small text area. And I'm going to go ahead and change the, the font size to about a 14. And I'm also going to deselect the bold option. And then I'm going to hit Control Shift L. And what that's going to do is that's going to paste some filler text inside of this text area. OK, so once you have something similar to what I have on screen, select your selection tool and I'm going to drag and select around both the article A title and the text. And I'm going to move that off to the side of the screen for now. So the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and, and go back to your toolbar, select the text tool and click in the empty space in your workspace. And we're going to write. Go to article A. OK, and select your selection tool and we're going to resize this and make it a little bit bigger. OK, so once you have the same thing I have on screen, the next thing that we're going to do is select the article A title that we created earlier. So left click that and then right click and go to the option that says names. That's going to bring up the name dialog and we're going to apply a name for article A. So I'm just going to call it article underscore a click the add button and it's going to add that to the names that are applied go ahead and hit close and we're almost done now so the next thing that you want to do is you want to actually zoom out some so we're going to zoom out to maybe about 25 percent and the reason i'm doing that is so that i can resize this page i'm actually going to make it a lot taller and the reason i'm making the page taller is so that when we click on that, the link to anchor text is going to be obvious that it actually went to that part of the page. So once you do that and resize the page to be taller, let's go ahead and zoom in to about roughly 75%. And once you're zoomed in about 75%, let's go ahead and select both article A and the text beneath it. So I'm going to drag and select around that. And I'm going to drag it back to the main space main part of our uh, workspace. And I'm going to scroll down until I drag this closer to the bottom of the page. OK, now you could do this a little bit easier, but I'm doing it the hard way today in the tutorial. But if you wanted to, you could zoom out further and see the whole page and just simply um, drag it where you want it placed at. So once you have that at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up to the top of the page. I'm going to left click on go to article A, right click that, click on web properties. And when you bring up the web properties, you'll be under the link tab by default. And we're going to click on the option that says link to anchor. OK, so go ahead and left click on that that bubble. And when you click on that, we're going to click on the drop down menu and select the option that says article A. Click apply, click OK. And you'll notice that the go to article A turns into a hyperlink because it's underlined. So let's go ahead and hit F5 and see what this looks like. So you'll see that we have go to article A and we cannot see the text that is at the bottom. But if we click on this, the page will scroll to the bottom to, to where article A is located. OK, and if we scroll back up, we'll see that we're still on the same page and it says go to article A. So the benefit of using the link to anchor tag is that when you click on a link, it's going to take you directly to that article on that particular page. 
Now you could you could probably apply the same technique um, across different pages, meaning that if you had uh, created a title for another article on another page, if you clicked on this link, you could have it go to that specific article on a different page. So just apply the same concepts that you learned for this page that we're working on to a, a different page and the same concept would apply. So I hope that this video tutorial was helpful. And if it was, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.